back in 2015, a new company called Magic Leap released an incredible concept video. It showed a pair of goggles that when you looked through them, were able to add exciting virtual objects into the real world around you. It's called augmented reality, and Magic Leap raised billions of dollars from investors who were impressed by what they'd seen. But it was of course just a concept, and it's taken until 2018 in order for the company to release its first product, the Magic Leap One. It costs $2,295, and in the box you'll find three main components. There's these goggles, this mini computer, and this small controller. You'll use that to navigate your way around the Magic Leap universe. First, you have to spend some time scanning the room around you. It's a process that takes a little longer than I'd like, but it is what it is. Once the room has been analysed, it means the virtual object should, in theory, coexist realistically with the real world, like when I put this block of cheese on this shelf, or this dinosaur on this table, or indeed this dog under the... Oh, it's a real dog. Well, now, it's not perfect, is it? You can tell... It's not really on the shelf, but at least it knows there's a shelf there to have it on. Because if I move it this way, it's going to fall to the floor. The software lets you create new worlds from your box standard everyday front room. But a more practical application might be to surround yourself with something like web browsers or other information. This is the New York Times Magic Leap app, which has interactive features that, in a way, remind me of the first time I tried one of those CD-ROM encyclopedias. Interesting, but only for a few moments. So this is almost like a step up from that. It's giving us a way to see stories in, in, in different ways and bringing something from a faraway place into your living room. And that's pretty powerful, I think. Huh. One experience I did quite enjoy was this trippy, immersive app inspired by the music of Sugur Rus, although it was let down by the limitations of Magic Leap. The field of vision is small, and so objects disappear unless you're looking straight at them. Because if I move slightly, I lose the vision. So I don't feel like it's filling the room, because when I look away, there's nothing to see, but... Of the bits I can see, oh, watch out. I'm quite impressed. The software is glitchy. It often crashes, but in time that will change. For me, the problem with Magic Leap is something more profound. It doesn't yet seem ideally suited to anything. Games are more fun on a games console. Uh, you can be more productive with a normal computer, a smartphone, is more mobile than this setup and it's certainly a lot cheaper and that is still when it comes to it what augmented reality lacks a real need for it to exist 